Hello and welcome to the Mission Energy Session 2. This is the second session of our campaign and here we're going to be talking about innovations for a greener and cleaner tomorrow. Thank you for our panelists joining us, our audience here as well. Now in session one you saw we focused on challenges and policy recommendations and now in this second session we're going to move on to opportunity and talk about India and the great ideas. We're a country full of ideas, full of great minds, innovators and we want to know how we can work to push those boundaries and work to get more innovations, more thought process into a cleaner and greener tomorrow and set our country in that direction uh, that we want to take, which all of us, which obviously we need to take. So uh, let's get started. I'd like to introduce our panelists here and joining us is uh, Abhay Diol and all of you know him as an actor, but he's also a green activist as well and someone who's very concerned about the environment and, and going green. Sunita Narayan, of course, uh, Director General of the Center for Science and Environment. Also joining us, Saurabh Kumar, a Managing Director of Energy Efficiency Services Limited. Thank you for being with us. And uh, Mili Majumdar, a Director for Sustainable Habitat Division with Terry. We have with us Dr. Prem Jain, Chairman of the ID GBCCI, thank you for being with us. And also our partner, Mr. Yon, thank you for making it all the way here for our session, our green session today. And uh, finally, we also have with us uh, Feli uh, Visco, thank you for being with us. Uh, she's the founder of Loma and Visco. We're very proud today to have a team from IIT and they'll actually be participating in the solar decathlon uh, which is about to kick off in Europe. So, Deepa, if you could tell us a bit about that. And I'm representing Team Shunya. And it's a collaboration between IIT Bombay and Rachna Sansad, the Academy of Architecture. So it's uh, we're participating in an international competition, Solar Decathlon Europe, uh, which gets held every year, every uh, second year. And this is the first time that uh, a team from India has been selected. And uh, we, in fact, uh, part of our team has actually uh, left for Paris today. And uh, the competition happens between June and July where we uh, assemble a prefabricated house uh, from scratch and then build it and then actually operate it and demonstrate energy savings Excellent. saying that it is a uh, low energy house in the first place and it operates also on a low energy concept and the entire and works on the entire life cycle analysis concept. Very deep uh, and we can see your teammates uh, there yes. joining us from Mumbai. Hello everybody. You Hi everyone tell there. Tell us a bit about this project. Uh, so thanks for having us as a part of reducing the uh, uh, energy uh, or, or uh, improving the energy efficiency in buildings. We are taking a three pronged approach uh, which, uh, which is uh, one is uh, using uh, Vastu Shastra, the ancient science of Indian construction for the architectural layout of our house. Then also using uh, the energy efficiency of appliances and our systems and then uh, reducing the energy demand as much as we can and then as a part of this competition since uh, we have to make the house as completely solar powered grid connected so using uh, solar PV as, as the renewable means to uh, provide all the energy so it's a, a zero energy house. I've been to this side I can add a little bit. What they did is exceptionally good. A lot of industries have come together. This, everything is solar powered. Mm. Air conditioner, fan, lights, refrigerator, microwave DC oven well. is all solar mm. powered. Mm. That means DC power. And the industry has contributed. Even the insulation, windows are all contribution by the industry. And we'll showcase our hope is that they'll bring the price. The first right. time India has entered, and why not be the winner? Well, let's hope for yes. the best for 